expectant hearts, expectant hearts, half of expectation, a heart that is loaded, hopeful, waiting, believing that God is about to touch him. It's only that heart that will receive miracles. It's only that kind of heart that will receive the touch of God. It's only that kind of heart that will receive healing. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Oh yes, oh yes, touch the Lord. Ababala maka tuleka babala maka onye ni gwa babala maka bamero ki ana me pere yo ababala. Oh yes. Handed as you have come before him. You are waiting upon him. You have come because of God. You have come with a heart of expectation. He will not let you go empty handed. Nobody comes before the throne of grace with a genuine heart of expectation and goes so empty handed. Open your mouth and begin to call upon him. Not to leave you empty handed. Not to let you go empty. Not to let you go empty. You will never be stranded calling upon his name. He will not leave you empty. He will not leave you empty. He will not leave you empty. Open your mouth and pray. Talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God.
who will not do anything this evening with physical strength, with physical struggling, with human ability and human style, that Holy Spirit shall possess every soul, that Holy Spirit shall possess every man, every woman, every boy, every girl, who is going to minister in one world or the other this evening, that God will take control, that God will take charge, that God will charge the atmosphere for us, that God will take over, that God will take care of everything that is needed for the present or the son this evening. Open your mouth and begin to speak. Talk to God. Speak. Be audible. Let heavens hear you. Let the earth hear you. Let every man hear you. Let women hear you. Let it be heard from your mouth. That you are calling from the presence of God. He says, speak to my ears. That which you believe. That you trust. I will bring it to pass. He is well able to grant our righteous desires. He will grant your desire this evening. Open your mouth and continue to call upon his name. Continue to call upon his holy name. Speak to him. We are asking for something to you, something desirable, that his spirit will come down and possess us, and possess this arena, and possess this auditorium, and possess every man in it, and possess every woman in it, and possess every boy in it, and possess every girl in it. Let God come down. Let his power come down. Let his spirit come down. Let his hand come down to be upon our lives. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Continue to call upon him. Continue to call upon his name. Continue to call upon his holy name. Continue to call upon his holy name. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Our prayers are in Jesus' name. You are going to pray for our brethren who may be at home now, dying, thinking, feeling stressed, one way or the other, considering should I attend, should I not go? We will not organize a program and come and meet in hall. We don't invite guest speakers and they come and they meet empty or they meet nobody. They speak to empty chairs and empty seats and go back. You are going to pray for them. Anybody that is in such position at this moment, that is still considering, that is still lying down somewhere, sitting lazily somewhere, thinking, will I go, will I not go? Let the Holy Spirit quicken them immediately, whatever they are. Anybody that is on his way somewhere, let the Holy Ghost quicken them wherever they are. Everybody that is meant to be here this evening that is not here, let the hand of God touch them. Let the Holy Ghost remind them that it's time. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and speak. Pray. Ask. It's not impossible. There is nothing impossible for the Holy Spirit. There is nothing impossible for God to do. Ask. Ask. You have not received because you have not asked. Ask. Ask is not impossible. It's not impossible. It's not impossible. Nothing impossible with God. Let Holy Ghost quicken them. Let Holy Ghost quicken them. Let Holy Spirit quicken them. Let Holy Spirit quicken them. Wherever we are, let Holy Spirit quicken us. Come on! Take authority. Speak by power. Speak by faith. Holy Ghost. Quicken them wherever they are. Quicken them wherever they are. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs that he that keeps his ears from hearing the law, he says even his prayers shall be abomination unto the Lord. Our prayers this night are not unto abomination. Our gatherings are not unto abomination. Every area I have kept my ears from hearing the law. Every area you have kept your ear from hearing the law. Ask God this evening to forgive you and help you and strengthen you and bring you out from that dungeon. I'm bringing you that out from that wantonness. Your prayers shall not be abomination. My prayers shall not be abomination. Oh God, the host of heaven, help me. Oh God, deliver me from the wantonness. Every area I have kept my ear from hearing the Lord. Holy Spirit, help me. Enable me to quicken my mother body this night. Help me, strengthen me. Help me and set me on my the right path. Set me on the right path, on the straight path, on the straight to go. The straight of heaven. Oh God, deliver me. Oh God, deliver your people from every possessiveness of the devil. Every power of sin. Help us, oh God. Deliver us. Every wicked, crossing, destructive power of sin. Every grip, every evil grip that is possessive, that is possessing your people. Oh God, deliver us. Every struggle, help us. Every struggle. Our prayers are not under abomination. Our calling upon you shall not unto abomination. Let our cries ascend to heaven. 
Let it turn to abomination unto your ears. Let it come to you. Let it not come to you like abomination. Do not close your ears as we cry. Do not close your ears as we pray. Grant us angels. Grant us assistance from heaven. Grant us help from above. Grant us help from the heavenless. Let it come. Michael come for our help. Let him come for our support. Every demon that has stood against our prayers, that has stood against our release, let your angels come right now to quicken, to bring to answer, to bring to fruition, to hasten it to come to pass. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Your prayers shall not be abominable. My prayers shall not be abominable. My cries shall not be abominable. Heavens shall hear our voice and we answer. Heavens shall stand still because of our voice. Heavens shall open when we call. The host of heaven shall stand in awe when we call. Heavens shall hear us. Your prayers shall not be abomination. My cries shall not be abomination. Deliver me from every struggle. Continue to pray. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. You have come to a place of strength. The company of innumerable angels. Let the power of God wrought miracles in your life. Let the power of God bring to pass every godly desire, every godly expectation in your mind. Let the power of God bring it to pass. Let the power of God destroy every evil desire in my heart. In your heart this evening. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let the power of God frustrate every of my attempt to deviate. Every of my attempt to God to deviate. Let the hand of God frustrate her. Let the hand of God frustrate her. Let the hand of God frustrate her. Let the power of God bring to fruition her. Every of your right desire. Every of your righteous heart desire. Every of your righteous heart desire. Every of your righteous heart desire. Let the power of God bring to fruition her. Let the power of God bring to pass her. Let the power of God bring to an end In the mighty name of Jesus. Ababala maka o chine ka ababala maka onye ni gwa ababala maka bemne rugi ana me chirigi o sing ababala maka jehova ababala maka oya na bioza ababala maka Ana me beregio, oh Jehovah, oye de be ma o anoteru. Ana me cheregio, aha Jehovah me, oye na biosa baba la maga anoteru. Ana me beregio, baba la maga. She did my baba la maga, but it be my baba la maga. A baba la maga, Jehovah baba la maga. Oh, you did be my baba la maga, we have the rugi. Ana me beregio, chinekio. Oh, you did be my. Ana me jerigi o ababa la maka o ababa la maka o chineka ababa la maka abne rugi ana me jerigi o ababa la maka jihova ababa la maka oja na bioza ababa la maka abne rugi ana me jerigi o ababa la maka o ababa la maka o Ababa la maga, bab ne rugi, ana me beregio. Ababa la maga, chede ma ababa la maga, oye ne be ma ababa la maga, bab ne. In Jesus' name we pray. Finally, I want you to take authority this evening from every power of destruction, from every external influence this evening. Every power of destruction that will come on in form of destruction from the musical instruments, from the microphones, from the environments, every territorial influence this evening. Speak and command them and send them away. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Send them to their place. Speak, open your mouth. Open your mouth and begin to pray. We take authority. We take authority. We take authority over every, every territorial influencer. Over every external influencer. Over every contrary spirit. 
over every distraction this evening. And we speak and uh, we say the expectation shall not stand. Uh, it shall not come to pass. Uh. It shall not stand that it shall not come to pass. Uh. The will of God must come to fruition this evening. Uh. The will of God for the program must come to fruition. Uh. The will of God for your life must come to materialization. Open your mouth and begin to speak. Pray, talk to God. Talk to God to come and take authority in your life. Let his hand continually be upon you. Let his hand come to manifestation in your life. Uh. Let his hand come to manifestation. Uh. Let the power of God speak. Uh. Let the power of God come down. Uh. And let men witness. Uh. And let there be a testimony in your life, in my life. Uh. In the life of every man, every woman. Uh. Every boy, every girl in this auditorium this night. Uh. About the manifestation of the power of God. Uh. About the hand of God. Uh. About the testimonies of God, God and God alone can do. Open your mouth and begin to pray. So shall it be in Jesus name. We pray in Jesus name. Ababa la maka shinika ababa la maka oya ne be ma ababa la maka ana me cheregio pray 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 talk to God continue praying let His hand come upon you ana me cheregio ababa la maka. Let's be on our feet.
Lord said to me when I was preparing and I said, what would I do? He said, I am changing garments. I am changing garments. And immediately my mind just go to the book of Zechariah. Let's go to the book of Zechariah chapter 3 from verse 1 to 5. I am changing garment. I don't know the type of garment you are putting on. I don't know that pain that has become a garment unto you. I don't know the garment of fruitlessness you are putting on. Oh, the garment of infirmity you are putting on. But the Lord said to me, he said, I am changing garment. I am changing garment. Are you here tonight and you want God to change that garment you are putting on? Or you just want that garment to remain with you? Oh, he said, I am changing garment. The garment of reproach. The garment of pain. The garment of poverty. I am changing garment. Hey, 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 na, 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 na. Makasuya, de, 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 de. He said, I am changing garment. Hey, garment of rejection. He said, I am changing. He said, I am coming from you. In Jesus' name, we are praying. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Zechariah 3 from verse 1 to 5. Please read for me. If you have found it, please read for me. 3, 1 to 5. And he showed me Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing at his right hand to resist him. And the Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuke thee, O Satan. Even the Lord that has chosen Jerusalem rebuke thee. Is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? Now Joshua was clothed with filthy garment and stood before the angel. I answered and spake unto those that stood before him, saying, Take away the filthy garment from him. And unto him he said, Behold, I have caused thy iniquity to pass from thee. And I will clothe thee with a change of raiment. And I said, let them set a fair meter upon his head. So they set a fair meter upon his head and clothed him with garments. And the angel of the Lord stood by. That must be said. Now Joshua was clothed with filthy garments. And he stood before. Before the angel, you are standing before the king of kings tonight. You are standing before your father tonight. What is that filthy garment you are putting on? The Lord is telling unto you that tonight, I am removing that garment from you. I am removing that garment of barrenness. I am removing that garment of reproach. I want us to open our mouth tonight and say, Father, remove every filthy garment from me. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray and tell the Father. Oh no! Oh, remove every from the garment. Every garment that is on me. Oh Lord, that is not allow my blessing to fall upon me. No remove it. Hey, yeah, yeah. My leg and leg and leg. My poor ass and leg and leg. They can run and swim and leg and leg. They can run and swim. Amen. And the verse 5 said, And I said, Let them set a mere 
meter upon his head. Tonight, a, me a fair meter will be set upon your head in the name of Jesus. And he said, change his raiment. Your raiment, as he has said, I believe God's word. Unless you don't know, unless you are thinking it's all this is word. This is not my word. I heard him clearly. I am changing garment. If you believe that God has spoken this word, oh yeah, let every garment begin to say, Baba, every garment of failure, every garment of walking like an elephant and eating like an ant, let it be removed from me. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, when it's time for promotion, they will look at you, they say, you don't deserve it. It is not your time. And the Lord is saying, it is your time. Hey, 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 my book is a dalagada. That he may set him with princes, <laughs> even with princes of his people. Hey, yeah, 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 da, 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 da. He said that he may set him with princes, with the princes of his people. Tonight, as that garment is being taken off you from you, all oh, the Lord is setting you all oh, with princes, all oh, with princes that are your people. Those that have looked down on you, those that said nothing good will come out of this world. Tell the Lord again tonight, Baba, bless me, O oh God, oh, to be among the princes of my people. Let me be among the people that have rejected me. Baba, take me to where, O oh God, I have been forsaken before. He said, you will no longer be forsaken. You will no longer, the Lord will no longer be desolate. Tell the Lord, Father, make me, O oh God, to see, O oh God, I'm not crazy. This day has fallen in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we just thank you. We just bless your name, O oh God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We are grateful, O oh God, that no time we call upon you, you don't answer. You answer by fire. Lord, we bless your holy name. Lord, we appreciate you. Oh, we say thank you. Right on in majesty, O oh Lord. All oh, that which you have started, O oh God. 
Father, you will bring it, oh God, oh, to the end. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we ask, oh God, even as your God, we come to us, oh God. Father, give us, oh God, our, and let our eyes be open. Let our ears be receptive. In the mighty name of Jesus, Christ. Daddy, we just thank you because, oh God, we are not going by the same way we came. Bless her, bless her be your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Shall we rise on our feet? Everybody, let's rise on our feet. God has brought us into this place to reveal himself to us. To fill us with his spirit, with his power, with his glory. And he's in our midst to do great things. God's servant will be bringing God's word to us in a couple of minutes. We're just going to worship him and exhort him. Bro, Wale, who came with the pastor, will lead the worship. I'd like you to just release yourself in anticipation of what God will do this night. Praise the Lord. Worship time, we don't want anybody sitting down except you are sick. So ushers ensure everybody is on their feet, except they are sick. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let us be in a mode of worship. Can we echo that? Yes. Great are you, Lord. know Jesus is for you.
Breathe upon me. Breathe upon me. Breathe upon me. The breath of life. Breathe upon me. Breathe upon me. Breathe upon me, Lord. Breathe upon me, Lord. Breathe the breath that is sufficient. Father, breathe upon us. Breathe upon us. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your name. Lord, this is why we are here this weekend. That, Lord, you will endue us with your power. The power Lord, that's why we are here this evening. That's our goal this weekend. That you may breathe upon us. That you may clothe us. Endue us with your presence, with your power, with your glory. Thank you because, Lord, you are eager to do so. And we know we will experience you. With Jesus' joy, can we welcome to this altar again? God's servant, Pastor Nyinka Olufayo. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Father, we are very grateful. We bless your name. We reverence you. Thank you for yesterday's look, early this morning. Lord, have your way. I submit to you, we submit to you. Have your way. Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Singers have common spirit, common language. Um, a number of the songs, myself, maybe a few others, that Brother Eric was singing, they did not know the lyric. And the way they were singing it is as if they rehearsed together, as if they have known themselves before. Everything was very harmonious. Back home in our assembly, we have great Igbo brethren, a number of them. And when Brother Wale will lead choruses, you won't know it's a Yoruba man. The Igbo audience said, he has. In fact, when he came in, I almost was regretting that I would have told you to lead Igbo choruses. The Igbo people said, they, they, they themselves said, he has a lot of those choruses. He's gifted in that. May the Lord continue to help him. Amen. Choir, you are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. We will continue where we have stopped. Pastor David... Brother Wale, you have been very good assisting. I don't have much time, but the assignment God asked me to give tonight is simple. I saw, the revelation I saw, um, I was impressed. I saw sheep, several sheep in this congregation, but Many are, they are on the crossroad. They needed direction. And God is telling me tonight that the reason for that crossroad is in proper introduction to partnership and comfort of the Holy Spirit. That, that until a believer is shepherded, Jesus was with the disciples and he was guiding them. All of the twelve were confident, were confident. When it was time for taxation, they relaxed. Jesus knew what to do. Go to the fish and bring money. When they say, there is no food to take care of these so many in the wilderness, Jesus knew what to do. 
When it was time that Pharisees and Sadducees were asking very dangerous questions, Jesus knew what, what to do. All of a sudden, he started telling them that he was going to go away. And they were depressed. They were sorrowful. And Jesus began another days of appealing to them and telling them, I am not going to leave you shepherdless. I am not going to leave you comfortless. I have been your comforter. I will send you another comforter. I'm not going to create a vacuum. So God is saying, my assignment tonight is to, under his help, let every sheep here that they have shown me as sincerely, genuinely, positively following the Lord, but introduce them to the comforter, the partner, that they should not do it in the flesh, which I did for seven and a half years, 1973 to February 24, 1980, that they cannot continue Comforter, sevenfold word. I think somebody was amplifying it from the from the Hebrew language. Means paraclis. It means a comforter, an helper, an advocate, eh? an intercessor, an encourager. It means a standby. You know, I told you I was properly mentored by Kenneth Hagin. Kenneth Hagin said a standby. It's one of the meaning. You know the meaning of standby? You know light suddenly went away. What was standby generation? What did he do? He switched off. When you come to your dead end, the standby comes. The major difference I want to know, I want to say, the major difference between Christianity and any other religion is the presence of the Holy Spirit. Many of you don't know. Pastor was telling us that Holy Spirit is not just a myth. It's just not a brief, a breeze. It's not just an unambiguous something. It's a personality. It's definite. It's, you know, a being. And many of you don't know, and God is telling me that for the Holy Spirit to have his full partnership and run in your life, you yourself must understand your spirit. You are a spirit yourself. Say, I am a spirit. I have a soul. And I live in a body. When the time comes, you are going to leave this body. The soul and the spirit will go to the law. The book of Ecclesiastes. He said, the body will return to the soil. But the soul, you remember the story of um, Lazarus and the rich man. So, where you are going, either paradise or for a sinner, um, hell, not lake of fire. Lake of fire will come later. But they are going to be in the restroom of suffering. Whereas, believer will be in paradise of also restroom of enjoyment. Before eventually, we are going to enter into I have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has he been revealed to the sons of men what God has prepared. God has varieties of enjoyment. We want to, um, you know, run through the Holy Spirit. And yesterday I was telling you that everybody and every achiever or loser is under some control of a spirit or the other. Your vehicle is run by petrol and they call it motor spirit. Am I right? Uh -huh. One form of spirit or the other. And you should understand that if you don't properly put yourself in a position and you understand partnership with the Holy Spirit and allow, you know, in to fill the gap of a comforter. You know what Jesus was telling them? 
Immediately he died. What happened to the disciples? They went back fishing. Everybody was palabagaste. And in Sunday school class, they said, why did they soon depart like that? And in knowledge of he said, he said, the challenges are too much for them. That when, when Jesus came, they faced a lot of defending him because he did not draw from heaven in a dramatic way they were expecting. So there were so many people casting doubt. And many other things they had to defend. People will make jest of them. Ordinary person that was born in, in the Namanja. And all along and all along and all along that, that. And to their own amazement, he was caught, crucified, killed. They were surprised. So they went back. They practiced shepherdlessness. Lack of comfort. Lack of advocate. Advocate is somebody who is uh, representing your case before a judge. They lack a standby energy. They are stranded, even though they are sincere. Praise the Lord. What spirit of the other? So, your own spirit, you must understand it. You are spirit man. And your own spirit is not a fluke. It's not a myth. What did God say? He said he created man in his own image. What was the image of God? I can't go to so many scriptures now. What was the image of God? Image of God we know is not just a myth because we understood according to Exodus 33. I think from 18. Paul said, or 13, Moses said, God, I want to see you. God said, you can't see me. I will hide you under a cleft so that you can see my hand, so that you can see my back parts. Then, first Peter, so God has hand, God has back parts, God has nose. Second Chronicles 16, 9 says the eyes of the Lord run into him. So we know that God has eyes. God is just, it's not just uh, a myth or a wave. Jesus Christ said, if I, by the finger of God, does all these things, he said the hands of the Lord are not shortened. Jeremiah 3. So we knew God has hands, has back, has eyes, has ear. So if the spirit in you was created in the image of God, then your spirit, if it were to come out now, it has eyes, it has nose, it has soul, it has leg, is because this one, this one, the body, that is the cloth, was measured and sewn to size of your spirit. So it will not be unlikely that the spirit inside of you, for your hand, has some other elongation that accounts for the tailor making this for him. It is not unlikely that it has, am I, am I communicating? A hair like So it's very, very tangible. And the realm of the spirit are real. When there was a confusion under the realm of Rhea, they wanted to go to Ramogiliad, 1 Kings 22. It was a spirit, a, a, a spirit that came to play line, a line spirit, who was in the eyes of the prophet. Every assignment that is negative, a spirit is behind it. Every other assignment that is positive. When Saul, before he became King Saul, when he was prophesying, and they said, is he also among the prophets? The spirit alighted on him, and he was prophesying. So to manifest gifts, so to do excellence, a spirit is in charge. There was the temple in the, of Moses that was so sophisticated, so sophisticated. It has the altar court, it has the inner court, and it has the holy of holies, and so many gadgets are there. God has to put a spirit on somebody called Bezali to be able to design all those things. So your gifts, you are a choir. Your gifts, you are a teacher. Your gifts, you are a called trader. Your gifts, you are a called teacher. You can play piano. It is an anointing that is responsible for it and you must understand how the Holy Spirit functions this are this your own spirit man. And what must you do with your spirit man? Because 
The Holy Spirit will only relate to your spirit. He cannot relate with your body. Your body is given to be able to handle a mala that is physical. Your body is given to be able, you know, to, 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 to contact and dwell in the physical. It is your spirit that worship God. First Corinthians 1 9. Is it first Corinthians 1 9 or, or Romans 1 9? He said, With my spirit, I have fellowship with God. So, what must you do with your spirit? You must know it's very real. It has I. Paul said, Renew the spirit of your mind. You know, it has the mind of your spirit. So, your spirit, you know, operates in tangible reality. And what I'm saying is that. You must know how to release your spirit. The problem with many of us is that our spirits are not released. We don't know how to release it. Most of the things we spoke during the VG, we help release your spirit. Speak in tongues thoroughly. They are not going to reward those who are spared tonguing in heaven. And say, Pastor Ade Yemo, you didn't allow tonguing to read. But Sister Deborah has allowed it. Let him now come and take reward. You speak in tongues. Your spirit is released. Sometimes when you close your eyes and you speak in tongues for about two hours, you see that your high ball change, your emotion change because that is the way to release your spirit to be able to function in a realm that is of God because there are two realms that trying to influence your spirit. There is the realm of the devil headed by Lucifer, Satan. There is the realm of God. So, what other way do you release your spirit apart from tonguing? The word of God study must be very deliberate. I don't know whether you know that people can fast a whole day only to read the word of God. You fast and you leave your house by 7 and you don't return back until 4 p.m. You just went with study scriptures to study. Those things, he says we should, he said the word of God is quick and powerful. To the piercing, you know, to the uh, putting asunder of soul and spirit. It will, you know, when the word of God is read in revelation, it separates the soul from the spirit. It makes your spirit, if your spirit cannot airlift, God is up. He can receive from God. Why many Christians are losing is that God talks, God directs, God instructs. God lead, God advises, God counsels, but they do not benefit. The receiver has problem. In election, they said the problem is that the high rev was not loaded with information. Many believers' high rev is virus distorted. They live Christian life comfortless. The standby doesn't talk. He said, Stop weeping because I said it's going. I am going to bring another comforter. He will receive of me and show it to you. He said he will teach, he will teach you those things. He said he will glorify me. He's a regular companion. Very regular companion. Very regular companion. When our brother was on the trumpet the other time, the Lord opened my eyes and I was almost, it was almost like the base of the trumpet, I saw serpent, you know, I mean, you know, the way snake will fold their skin. And I was saying, is he talking of the old church or is he with reference with the brother? Anyhow, and, but what I was bringing out is that there is a source I must address today that is bringing go slow. The other time, the red venous animal I saw was a leopard, they tear. If I forget, please remind me. I want to speak words and everybody will put their hands on their chest and I will distort. I was saying, is it, is it, is it talking about our physical structure? Because you see, if we are not wise and we are not good, the devil can deliberately hold us, but we will explain them very casually to economy, to physical things. Am I understood? Because... <laughs> My sister and I gave our life to Christ about one year difference. He was 72, I was 73. She could not receive baptism of the Holy Ghost. I think she was seeking it before I did. I got it before her. Until when, after years of seeking, 
to be filled with the Holy Ghost because we are going to minister baptism with the Holy Ghost here today. Make it number two. Stop doing Christianity with self-effort. I have a mentor who is dead now. He said what he does in his Christian work is that he rests on God. Jesus said, even Jesus himself did not do it that way. So, brethren, you must be properly introduced and, and given to the Holy Spirit of God. Your antenna must always be sharp. Your eye rev, your sava, which is your spirit man, separated daily, good tonguing regularly, good word of God that will be separating it. If they are not separated, you are going to use word tactics. Some people, Christians, they take uh, daily news. They go to pages that discusses star guessing daily. Some of them follow counsels of unbeliever. But there are things the Holy Ghost can show you, can tell you. The kilometer, kilometer, whatever, 46 there. Hadebo, he said, God told him, the Holy Spirit told him, keep walking. And he was the first person to be there. We, life become easier. Life become sweetened. Because God himself is not a wicked master. He didn't send you to go and live your life a whole. Try to re Somebody, I talked about Washmani yesterday. He wrote a whole book. He said, the release of the spirit. The release of the spirit. So that he can, con he can collect data. In the high realm, you release it through tonguing, through word of God, through time alone with the Lord and worship. That is why in an assembly like this, there must be people like this who are gifted with worship. Every assembly. I, I am, even on this earth, I am well served, stabbed, stabbed, stabbed. When I don't see gifted girls, gifted men who sing very well and who preserve their life to make sure they are singing. They make me to, they inspire me and my spirit is released to receive. If you are in, a, in a, this place, you have singers who are singing very well. Major money to encourage them. And you know what Elijah said? When he needed his high rev potter to collect information, he said, bring me what? A minstrel. Second King 2. Many of us are scriptural illiterates. Many of us are scriptural illiterates. Proverbs 6, 22 say, The word, bind it upon your neck, tie it upon your something. He said, it's going to do three major ministries to you. When you sleep, it's going to protect you. When you walk, it will advise you. And when you are awake, it will discuss with you. Because... When your life is deficient of the word of God, the Holy Spirit's hands are folded because the Holy Spirit sinks into his word. Sometimes it will only take a word to guide you. I was in a fellowship, I was ministering. I just saw a bottle of 7 up and they were opening it, the gas were coming out. What is this Holy Spirit? He told me, he glided me and said, there are people here under pressure and I announce it and they signify because the Holy Spirit is the one to lead you. He's the one to keep you off. And you must understand that. So, good personal worship, good personal praise. Then, another way to release your spirit, confession of faith. Say that you are more than conqueror. That's why we are studying holiness. So that each time when you are beaten down under Satan's deceit, that you are wretched, you have disappointed God, you are not worthy. We are teaching you that the Corinthians are worse than you. If you treat Corinthians from Genesis chapter 1, you will see their people failed, failed, and failed. And yet, they were referred to as holy brethren, as sanctified, because they are defining them positionally. Through your confession, your spirit is released. It can undo your physical weakness. It can present you for daily sanctification. The spirit cannot, a man cannot succeed if he don't, any minister who has ever been perfect has understood Holy Spirit ministry very well. Because Jesus didn't leave us to keep, to, to keep on struggling and on. It is the major difference 
between Christianity and Islam, Christianity and Hinduism, Christianity and Buddhism, Christianity and Arish Krishna. If you remove Holy Spirit, Abiola, MK Abiola won election. And one of the times when he was fighting and there was exchanges, Abiola said, he said, practicing Christianity, he said, he, he was trying to draw analogy. He said, that thing is like practicing Christianity with, and you don't believe in the Holy Spirit or you don't believe in Jesus. You know, he went to a Baptist school. They knew the importance of Jesus, the Trinity member. God is up there. And one thing is that the Holy Spirit is dwelling inside of your spirit. And it's lying there, follow. And we must know it. Now, let me quickly, I have talked about four things. You confess, you release your spirit by doing that. Then, fellowship with the brethren, where you are regularly charged like this, number five. Now, Holy Spirit, it is the Spirit of God that moves over all the heart. We saw it in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. If it's not here, I will be using this one. He said, that's Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In Genesis 1, 13, he said, the Holy Spirit is the endorsement. The Holy, the Holy Spirit in your life is the reason why you, they will ever think about you're going to heaven. It is the thumbprint of God that will make you eventually to make it. It's the only reason when God looks at the earth, he sees you as part of his people. The, the, it is the label on you. If you read Ezekiel 10, when they wanted to destroy several people, they sent the prophet, go and mark the people of God so that they are not going to be in danger. Accident, disasters, evil. When the edge is not broken, but the seal of the Holy Spirit there, they fly away from people. Am I understood? So Ephesians 1, 13 say, you are sealed. Seal means an ensign of ownership by God. First Thessalonians 4, 8. God called spirit, Holy Spirit, as my own. My own. So, and he put his own spirit. We have taught the other time that holy means God. So, when you say Holy Spirit, you are saying God's spirit. And he arrogated it, personal pronoun, that that's my own. Of his own, he invested in you. And you are so special. You are so great. There is no person that has ever been great who did not start where you are? I read, I read one small book many years ago by Maurice Cerullo, more than 30 years. He said, they sat where you sit. Adeboye sat where you are sitting now. T.L. Osborne sat where you, where you sit. Where you are now is not going to be your limitation. You are still going to know heights. Job 8, 9, Abi 8, 7 says, those your beginning was small. Your hand shall going to be very great. God did not create a weakling Christian. We were in crusade last month. And I was telling them, I said, there is nobody God created who was not a champion. I read, I studied that. And when you see any other person, where is a doctor, is a pharmacist, we are the very people that are looking at human beings under the microscope. We study spam of humans. We study uh, things from women. And we know that anybody, anybody that made it to life is a champion ab initio. And I was telling them, I said, before you came into the world, about 60 million spam, 60 million were in your father. 60 million. When he ejaculated into your mother, Everybody was running from the service through the fallopian tube and going to the uterus in order to fertilize it. When several millions, many of them will die on the way. And if you see sperm, sperm is like this pulpit. They already have head like we have. They have head. They have body elongation. And they have like two legs. And they, sw they swim fast. By the, when they are ejaculated into the sperm, through the something, every of them begin to swim. But everyone dies until one or two. In case of twins, every other million die until one that, is eventual, that eventually fertilizes the egg in the woman. 
So, what are the things that kill them? Eat. You know, it's a long passage. And the way um, um, women um, biological structure was created, they have to negotiate corners and everything. Several of them will be they will be dead by it. Some of them will be dead by infection. Some of them will be dead by ash pH, very acidic. Some of them will be dead by congenital de deformation of the biological structure of the woman. Some of them will be done. Even when you, some people even succeed, because of some carelessness of some women, they will say they have miscarriages. For you to have succeeded, you are a champion. You are a winner of, you are a winner among millions of sperm that fought. God doesn't create a weakling. If God does not create a failure. Lion, we always give back to lion. Hen, we always give back to hen. Leopard, we give back to leopard. If you are born by God, and God is supreme and reigneth over all, you are fantastic. You are a champion. They might have mismanaged you. Maybe when you were young, your father was so harsh, and he was, saying, he was always saying, your mother is bad. You are also going to be bad. Your mother didn't hand away. You are not going to hand away. You might have been mismanaged. But the truth about it is that potentially and the expectation of God, you have won. You won among 60 million. Some of the millions did not even leave the body. You were tell Some of the times when I have problems, when my problems are, are so heavy, I used, to, I used to blame my spam. That why did you rush? Somebody else will have come in place of me. I will have avoided all these things. This one that you want for me, you just want for me, I didn't send you around. Because I would think that it would have spared my own spam for another person that they will call Dayo, to call. So, God follow you through the service, through the fallopian troop, through the etheros you spend nine days, irrespective of any contribution of the woman. God was demonstrating no one lived who is not a champion. You started fighting. You fought battles. You fought battles. You fought battles under ash condition of pH. You survived. Under ash conditions of gonorrhea, streptococcus aureus, very terrible bacteria. You survived. You fought battles with some other people, some other spam wanted to corner you. You move faster. You are a winner. And, and after that, you have finished that. You now became born again. God still insisted that irrespective of whatever Lucifer did in Garden of Eden, he's bringing you somewhere. So, never go to God bad because your spirit will not be received. Your eye rev. Many of you are fighting eye neck. You are a bad eye neck to your life and to your existence. Bad eye neck. Because your own eye rev is not functional for the Holy Spirit to load with information. You are not separating your spirit through tonguing, through praying, through coming, through coming to come and listen to the word of God like this. You can see empty seats through any of, any of those things. Now, back into that. Romans, Ephesians 4, 30, a number of references there. His Holy Spirit, and you still call it His Holy Spirit there. They are forwarded to you. Thy Holy Spirit, Psalm 51, 11, call it His Holy Spirit. He's the only one. Is, he, that is his own spirit. There are other lying spirits, like we have said. We are all partakers of that Holy Spirit. Hebrews, Hebrews 6 says that we are all partakers of that Holy Spirit. That's what Hebrews 6 says. Hmm. My brother, you will come here because I'm getting... Okay, that's all right. Um, now, we want to go to the first thing. It's a personality. I have dwelt on that. The Holy Spirit has identity. It's a comforter. It's a being. It's not just a, 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 a mere uh, wave. Jesus, the Holy Spirit was addressed in personal pronoun. He, if you read John 14 and you read John 16, he said, I will send another quarter. When he, the comforter come. When he, when he, when he. Why are you thinking that the Holy Spirit is just mere uh, wave? When is the one that created all of us that are real? It's only that it's capable to function on both sides. And that's what will happen to you. And that's what you are created to be able to function here and function there. You don't know your potential. So, you know, so many of you have very good phones, very good guns that has a lot of uh, functions. 
But the only function you are doing there is only to call, receive WhatsApp, and SMS. And it has so many other functions. If you abuse your own life, that so many things does not come out. If you are looking for somebody who has failed, a, a, a regular failure, you are talking of Yinka all over myself here. Yeah. My mother looked at me and said, you know, succeeding. One time he knelt down for me and said, you don't need to be annoyed all that we have done for you in the family that God has eventually vindicated you. You know when your mother now, he said God has vindicated you, don't, don't, don't fight us again. Because what, what I said they should not do, they went ahead and the regret is today. And one of them came and he said, I have offended you, forgive me. That is not the thing. I'm trying to tell you, you have tried. Don't listen to the devil beat you down. Don't listen to him. There was um, an exhibition that was done one day. And Satan was showcasing all his equipment. He brought fornication tool. He said, I use this to finish many men of God. He brought lying, deceit. He said, I use this one. He brought hypocrisy. He said, I use this. He brought envy. Then there was one. Every other one were relatively neater. But there was one that was tattered. It, every part of it was put together by the uh, equivalent of uh, uh, cello tape and everything. And this man of God that was being showed or whatever said, this one that is ragged and everything, he said, what about it? What makes you to be ragged? Ah, he said that one is always my equipment of last resort. If I tell him to commit fornication, he's too smart. He doesn't commit. If I tell him, using another equipment for him, to deceive, to steal money if he does not. What this equipment, the name is discouragement. Is the one I have used more than any other. I will just tell him, ah, hear me? Oh, you don't know that your, your life is spoiled? One day, precisely 2019, I started my house. It was not even my first house. It was not even supposed to be the second one. I started it right in our hometown because I had to work there. I was to leave government quarters and live there. And when I finished it, it was even better than the one I was living in Ibadan. The whole place was there, tiled, fourth bedroom. And I saw, I was in my, I, saw, I was in my sitting room. Satan came to me and I was taken up. He said, don't you see that? Don't you see that? You should go and kill yourself. It's very worse for you. And I've taken that bait for, for seconds, thinking about it. All of a sudden, I came to my senses. I said, ah. But what about it? So, and I came back. That what is it that made my life to be that terrible among my? It made me to know that I should go and kill myself. Sometimes, if you don't know your potential, those are the things the word of God will cleanse and, and will make your spirit start releasing your spirit man. If you don't release your spirit man, if you allow too much of tensions, too much of pressure, too much of problem. Too much of lack of money, too much of um, um, difficulties that children and everything, what the pressures in your place of work, all of a time you will be depressed. Depression does not make a man to release his spirit man, except he knows how to use problem to elevate. Am I understood? Am I understood at all? So always struggle. I my my most important assignment every day is to release my spirit man. Release my spirit man. Release my spirit man. Many of you should have music in your house. The two of them were in my house. And the music, they were playing it. I, I was, even when you, when, you, when you hear some choruses in your house, you are lifted. How many people have experienced that? Create atmosphere of song. Your spirit is going to be released. And you know what the Bible says? It said the only debt we have owed is we are to pay to our spirit man. Take your spirit man out every day and invest on it. To buy books and read, I am investing on my spirit man. I am releasing them out because um, so much will come through it. Now, let me run through this Holy Spirit. He said it's a personality. The Holy Spirit has emotions to tell you it's a personality. Ephesians 4.30 says, Do not grieve the Holy Spirit. So you can make him annoyed. Somebody who can make him annoyed means he has emotion. Isaiah 63, 10. He says, they verse the Holy Spirit. 
Uh, 1 Thessalonians 5, 19 says, don't quench, don't stop, don't be a fire in to the Holy Spirit. Do you know how you can quench the Holy Spirit? As you are inspired and they have challenged you in a meeting like this, all of a sudden the devil brings temptation of sin and a, a girl partner come and you quickly mess up yourself. You go into sin. The spirit work in your life is quenched. It's not even those big, big things. You can, through you, somebody just anoint you after you get home from this meeting and you bring a mighty course or you are under, many of us still tell lies though, you just tell a lie and the devil come. Sin makes you to quench the spirit's power. First Thessalonians 5, 19, you can see it there, do not extinguish the spirit is the challenge. Do you know that the Holy Spirit has forms? Luke 3, 32, sure you have seen it on the, on the from there. Luke 3, 32, it has forms. So it's not just a mirage. In bodily shape, when Jesus Christ was being baptized, what did the Bible say? They said the Holy Spirit came on him like a dove. Even though he has hands, heads, ears, the Bible establishes it. Because he's God, he applies in any other one. He applied, he came like a dove. Where am I? Now, in, in Acts 2, 2 to 4, it, it appeared like cloven of tongue. People were speaking in their own languages. They were speaking Sawahali. They were speaking Libya. They were speaking. One day, I read some books. I, I'm looking for that book till now. It must have been in my 80s or 1970s. They compiled experiences of speaking in tongues of several people. Sometimes, People are in an international conference and somebody is speaking a language, speaking in tongue, not knowing it was a language that the other man knows. It's like Nigeria sitting with, a, with a, a Chinese and the tongue in is saying, the Lord is good, oh, you are wonderful, that's your problem, we'll be catered for. Do you know that why we don't have social experiences plenty today? It's because hedge breaking. It's because we don't release our spirit. There is pressure. I, I submit that there are more pressures now. I submit that there are more difficulties now. I submit than some 20 years ago, 40 years ago. But the devil deliberately did it because he said in Job 2 4, he says, Skin for skin, whatever a man has, he shall give in exchange of his soul. I am going to prove, pull a love of problem on heart that all of you will not be able to release your spirit. I will bring distraction. My major goal is to make sure that. Your spirit is enmeshed in worry, in disaster. And the only way is that the garment of praise for the spirit of heaven. The Lord woke me up. The Lord, it was on my bed. I was coming from bed. That was two year 2000. And he said, during COVID-19, the book we are dedicating today, you will see that they are referring to COVID-19, COVID-19. God told me to write, to write so that you go around the whole world, that he, he uh, and encourage them during COVID-19. But two of the books were slow. It remains only one. There were seven in a series. And he was saying that I should write praise. Praise. The people should wear a garment of praise. When you wear a garment, you are covered up. When you wear a garment, you are shielding yourself from cold, like in Europe. When you wear a garment, you are uh, covering your nakedness. When you wear a garment, it's for ecstasy. That I should tell them that they should go and wear praise as garment. And in volume, so volume one, two was out. I was trying to bring another, they thought, they thought, it remained that, uh, the, the, the last one, that garment of praise is very, very essential. Because it is the only thing that solve the spirit of evidence. Abi, Psalm 61, he said, he gave you garment of praise for the spirit of evidence. So, he came like clothing of tongues, like fire. Fire. That's why we say Holy Ghost fire. In Acts 2, 2 to 4. Ministry of works of the Holy Spirit. Romans 8, 13. It is through the Spirit that flesh submits. You know? That's why you must know the power of the Holy Spirit. So, it is like, you know, I was telling you yesterday. I said, in my early days of struggling with sin, up till now, I still work my salvation. No? But in my early days, when I had the experience of Romans 7, Later on, I was so frustrated that what I don't want to do, I still doing. And I was thinking that when I get to campus, I should do my eyes like this. You know why? I don't want to see a, the face of a lady. I don't want... You know, there is, you know a lady. A lady is a lady. If you see a proper lady that is capable of handling you, there is no part 
you look on our body that doesn't give you problem. So I decided to start looking up. But later on, he came to me that the power of holiness is not in our neck. What of people that will not be able to raise their neck up? And that however much you raise your neck, you will even bring it down. So, but it is through the spirit that you must deaden. He said, through the spirit, we mortify. And I learned that, that, that the, the Latin word mortify, listen to this though. The Latin word called mortify there comes from the same word mortuary. Everybody say mortuary. He said, through the, if you through the spirit, you mortify the deeds of death, you kill the seed of death. You see, when you, are, when you soak yourself in speaking in tongues, you soak yourself in, in the word of God every time. You are always worshipping God. You face your purpose about God. You discover that sin at peace lay. It means that you are embalming the body. Those of us that work in this mortuary, I, I have supervised the place before. They use um, formalin. And the formalin will do about four things. It's going to putrefy, which means all the germs that are there in the dead corpses, putrefy it. The enzymes that work and the hormones, is going to fix them and make them non-functional. They will not be in lifelike state. The third one is that decomposition. It will arrest decomposition. That's what you do in your, in your, uh, when you are embalming. So he said, embalm, kill the body through tonguing, through focusing. So I discovered that the way to overcome sin is not looking up when I'm in camp. The way to overcome sin is that when you focus on positive direction, so much you are overwhelmed by it, you get further away from the negative direction. Those, some people, the way they are fighting sin is that they keep looking at sin, studying sin, and trying to use their personal determination to make sure that they overcome. No, the Bible is saying, if you, he said, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin of die. What is the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus? If you mind the things of the spirit you will live. Go and study the whole of Romans 8. When you put your mind on the things of the spirit, if you are a debtor, the verse 32 and verse 12, uh, brethren, we are therefore debtors not to live after the... Most of these things, they are the things who are the law of the spirit of life. You confess what Christ has done for you. You speak in tongue plenty. You read the word of God plainly. You subject yourself to Dick's Bible. You study. You want to know God. Those are the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus that will now come and put you over sin. Because in verse 7, in chapter 7 of Roma, he was complaining how sin was taking a um, toll over his life and controlling. He now came to verse 18. Verse 7, in that, in that chapter 7, he was so frustrated that he said, O wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? Because he's struggling in the flesh. When he came to chapter 8, he said, chapter 8, 1, he said, the law of the spirit of, there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus who walk after the spirit. To walk in the spirit is all that I'm talking to you. Be more focused on the positive. And that keeps the body dead and uh, always dying like we talk of consen uh, consecration. We have started marking all our papers. We have marked very well. Thank you very much. You did goodly and uh, we commend you. When we do the last one tomorrow, we'll be able to uh, compare and know how much we have assimilated. Nobody's name. Now, Romans 8.26, priesthood. He said the spirit prayed with groaning and he interceded for you know that one. Luke 12.2, 12, Luke 12, the Holy Ghost can teach, can guide, can give direction and what to do. Luke 2 26, it reveals secret. You remember the story of Daniel when the king Nebuchadnezzar wanted to kill everybody. He revealed the secret of people. I shared a lot of testimony for those of you who are here at the VG. How Holy Ghost was. There is this book, and uh, God's dialect. God's dialect. God just inspired me that ah, Ijebu people have dialect. Igbo people have dialect. Anambra people have dialect. Russians have dialect. From my experience, I found out that God too has dialect. Because when I was young, God would speak to me. I would know. Like this, God uses symbols. God uses signs. It's in that God dialect. And I will bring part two because out of about over 100 revelations, I think I only discussed about less than 40. And I was thinking that 
I am indebted to this generation to release God's dialect chapter 2, chapter uh, another volume. The reason is that God has his own dialect. God was talking, he, he was using a dialect to, to Nebuchadnezzar. He saw seven thin cow and he saw seven fat cow and seven new cow swallowed the other one. If you don't know God's dialect, Holy Spirit will be using it to you. And it's biblical. Am I understood? In Revelation chapter 1, verse 1, he said he had his signs which he showed uh, through his angels to come and show unto uh, John in the book of Revelation. And there were many, many, many signs and symbols. The Holy Spirit will use them for you. Just, just like I told you, I was in a fellowship and I saw seven up and it was open. The Holy Ghost used that one for me. Another time it could be an ant, if you don't know what it means. Another time it could be, it could decide to speak audibly. But it uses everything. Another time it will just inspire the world. One time I took a very difficult job, like I said, for three years. It was Matthew 7 says that the Holy Spirit, as I was reading, used for me. He said, um, Give not only things unto the dog. Neither, he said, because they will come around and, and, and tear you. If you are not dwelling in the world, it will not be. Many of us are limiting the Holy Spirit. Let me go through it. Since you have it at all, you can go and uh, read them. So, the Holy, Spirit, the Holy Spirit shall guide, instruct, reveal, glorify God. John 16. John 14. The Holy Spirit shall assist in memory. Many students have given testimony. My brother gave testimony when he was not as brilliant. Until later, they were giving him scholarship. When you speak in tongues very well, you are going to be more brilliant in uh, your academics, more brilliant. I'm telling you the truth. Too. In your trade, you are going to be very wise. It will impart upon you wisdom. Effects of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit can witness, can attest that this is Jesus. You know, those of you that give tract and preach, it was the Holy Ghost on it that can attest the identity of Jesus. Acts 10, 32. Our pastor quoted it. How God anointed, how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with Holy Ghost and power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed. Is that the last of the Holy Spirit? That's the last. Uh, conclusion. Because I'm not able to get through here again. May, uh, is, is it conclusion that remains? Holy Ghost shall assist in memory and hand. Uh, effects of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit can win a uh, hand. Uh, works and effects. The, the, it's, not, it's not answering me again. No. I can't. Okay. Uh, can I quickly finish up with this? Uh, let me quickly do that. We don't waste time. Oh yeah. What's the next one? Conclusion. Holy Spirit imbue, which means inspire holiness. It will empower holiness. It will make you to be holy and all those things. It will empower for holy living on daily basis. Holy Spirit inspires with, with and permits with ability and quality for daily holy living. That one is clear. Every believer must be filled with the Holy Ghost with physical evidence of speaking in tongues. That's the last page, Javi. Is that the last page? Before wholeness. Now, praise the Lord. Holy Spirit does all of these things. How many people here are filled with the Holy Spirit? Somebody was asking me yesterday, can you be filled with the Holy Ghost and not speak with tongues? If you are filled with the Holy Spirit and you are speaking in tongues, let me see your hands up. Okay, hands down. If you are not, uh, you are not, you are not speaking in tongues, yes. Let me see your hands up. Uh, quite a number. I did that for seven and a half years and I knew it is climbing up the hill. The Lord is going to baptize you today in the name of Jesus. Wholeness. Wholeness. Now, we are supposed to talk about wholeness. I will quickly go through it. Oh, yeah, focus it for me. Because this one, I don't, can you? Okay, you want to? Uh -huh. So, praise the Lord. Wholeness has to do, when you say wholeness, is it, is it focused? That's third, no, awareness, Leleo. Wholeness. To be whole. That is not to be damaged. Uh -huh. Third John 21. Okay, it's like 21. Okay, she could be because the tablet on me too was not forthcoming. That oldness is talking about the fact that in holiness it has to manifest completeness. And 1 Thessalonians 5.23, you know that passage. 
You have gotten it. First Thessalonians 5.23. Pastor, help us read. First Thessalonians 5.23. Wholeness is a, is a state of forming complex or harmonious whole, unity. The state of being unbroken, undamaged. The wholeness of a building is exceedingly well. Wholeness, therefore, has evaluated the status of man's spirit, soul, and body without leaving one behind. That is, holiness must affect your spirit, must affect your soul, must affect your body. So all this stuff that I am only inside, I'm living wayward outside, is nonsense. All this stuff that I, I can be holy and righteous inside and I can dress any stupidly, it must affect all the three. And not only, even in your body, it must affect your eyes, your ears. What you, what you listen to matters. Many of you are listening to obesity. Many of you. You know, you know there are some stations by 11 p.m. They will be parading uh, Yusuf Ainde. I mean, look at this old man of Aruna uh, Shola contemporary. Eh? Ah, I'm on the younger people. Younger people. Eh, you see, for Latuji, eh, he's only 55 years and above that will be familiar. Because that man, he used uh, Goje and his uh, music is so, so solemn. You see, eh, you must be very careful if those are your stuff. Some of you, you listen to the video. The way you use your ears, the way you use your mouth, holiness possesses and controls and must reflect in everything. Even what you look. I know a brother. Bro is a brother. Do you know what he does? He used to he used to he used to own blues film, and he will lock himself in his room and he's enjoying blues film. You know, maybe he cannot go and practice all those things. The way you use your head, even your mind, they are very important. All the passages are there for you to go and see. So if you are holy inside, it must reflect outside. Please don't confuse us with that. And First Thessalonians 5.23, oh yeah, Pastor. Can you see? That is, that is the scripture for it. That the Lord preserves and sanctifies you, spirit, soul, body. Many Christians today, they are only born again in spirit and soul. Their body is rascality. You understand what I'm saying? You, they dress to make another man stumble. First Corinthians 8, they don't walk in love. If you are really, truly holy, the humility of the Lord comes on you and is reflective of many other ways. Why do you have to come to church and we have to struggle for the next 15 minutes before we settle down? When uh, you come and sit in front here and uh, you, you, do, you do as a lady, uh, open and close, all those nonsense. That is what eroded power in church and caused many things. We should put it on ground. After all, 12... 12, 1 and 2, Roman. Work on your body. Present your body a living sacrifice. A sacrifice is something that is dead. Dead to sin. Dead to unrighteousness. 2 Corinthians 7, 1. Self-cleansing from all, for feed, all unfeedness of the flesh and of the spirit. What is the meaning of filthiness of the spirit? Fitness of the spirit. Witchcraft. Rebellion. Fitness of the flesh. You know. You know that one. Fornication. Adultery. Stealing. But of the flesh, they exist in churches today. Rebellion, witchcraft. In, in um, 4 Samuel 15, 23, he talks about disobedience, rebellion, and witchcraft. And you know when, um, when Samuel was rebuking, was rebuking Saul, he said, he, said, um, he said, why did you do this thing? He said, obedience, he said, disobedience is as a sin of witchcraft and rebellion as, as idolatry and, uh, and divination. You know, when you are rebellious, you're rebellious to your pastor. Every time you are the one uh, guarding other people to say we should not obey our pastor. Rebellion is when you kick against authority. They are witchcraft. They are in the spirit. Many Christians are demon-possessed. 
you know, a, a demon oppressed. They say you cannot be demon possessed as a believer, which means the Holy Spirit and demon cannot believe in your spirit. But some have the demonic spirit outside their spirit, cohabiting with them, and they need to be very careful. You may need deliverance because that demon is working witchcraft. Is working. That's why your your dream is very different. You always see uh, spirit husband chasing you in dream because your spirit is filthy. Uh, many of us have spirit husband, spirit wife, and all this. And you think it's because you are you are you are you are fine. Job thirty one. Dynamics working dynamics of wholeness. That is using every part of our body and spirit. Job thirty one. High at loss. He said, I have made a covenant with my eye. Why will I look at a lady? Made a covenant with your eyes. Take steps. What you are going to be doing with it, where you will go with Isaiah 35, 15 and 16. Pastor has to read that for us. 15 and 16. Read that. He, 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 he split it very well. And Proverbs 16, 17 and 19. Another person will read it. He said, there are six things the Lord hates. Yea, there are seven. He said, a proud look. Six, uh, Isaiah 35, there are 33 new. Isaiah 33 new. Sorry, it's not. Six. Isaiah 33, 15 and 16. Isaiah 33, 15 and 16. Let another person. Uh -huh. Yes? Hey, Joko. Can you see? He that uses his ear, he that does not enjoy the gain of oppression, using gun to collect people's name. He talks about uh, what what are that what are the parts of bad or the body? He talked about there in verse 15. Let's mention the more than one by one that we should use where eh? mouth. Use your mouth well, yes. Leg, use your leg well. Use your hand well. Yes, not for righteousness, yes. Highs. Then he said. If you do that, in wholeness, there are four major dividends. He mentioned in verse 16. I was in, uh, was it? I was in UK the other time. And I was preaching to my church friend. And I was telling them four things that use of wholeness via holiness will bring upon your life. One, you will dwell on I. You know the meaning of dwelling I? You will be elevated. Because if verse 15 does not make you to break the edge in holiness through hearing badly, seeing badly, um, um, touching badly, um, you know what some people, they will say, some people say, well, that lady, I'm not uh, having anything with her. But I shake her. I shake her. Long as I shake you, it will be 17 minutes. Praise the Lord. When you are shaking a lady and it's spending about 17 minutes and you are doing like this, you are doing like this. Praise God. And I told you yesterday, don't individual, that it is your spirit that is born again. Your hormone is not born again. Your estrogen, your testosterone is not born again. And any time when you give them circumstance, they will show you they are not born again. One brother was a very, very, was one of the leaders in one of the holiness churches. Actually, uh, one of the holiness churches. One, very well known in Nigeria, well known. And he came to the village there. And uh, he used to be one of the leaders, I believe. All of a sudden, the fiancé came to visit him. And they were those, some of these people that believe that we are in a limitless church. In some, some, some. So he received the fiancé in the sitting room alone. I, I didn't know. I didn't know. He just rushed down to me and said, Brother Inga, ah, oh my problem. I have a problem. I never knew. He said, he said you know that I went so deep that the only thing that did not make me to go into the earth was that the sister was doing messes. Some people said, come on, go out. You went as far as seen, as seen a messes part. So that is why he that does not sit in the seat of the ungodly, um, Psalm, Psalm chapter 1, Psalm chapter 1, 1 to 3, don't sit in the, the seat of the ungodly. The language I was remembering, that I said I read a tract. I now remember it. 
They said Jesus Christ was always doing spirit search. When he was to go to anywhere, before he got there, he would have done spirit search. Am I going to be in problem there? Many a time when you want to go to a place, do spirit search. You can identify where your major problem is likely to be. Like I was telling you, any other sin, you can toy with it. But when it is immorality, what did the Bible say? Flee. He said you should run away. He said you should run. Because if you create the atmosphere, God gave me a major revelation that made Joseph in the Old Testament to succeed. He said he never lie with it nor be with it. He said all the pressure of the wife of Potiphar, he never lie with it. He never be with it or lie with it. If you be with it, that is breaking the circumstance, you are going to lie with it. Amen. In fact, when it is emotion, the way it works is serious. All of you, sometimes people will want me to understand that ah, Brian, it doesn't mean that uh, we cannot pray together and uh, we are in the spirit. You, will, you know, walk in the spirit. Walk is W-L-K. You will use your head to walk into the spirit and use your hair, well, leg to walk out of the spirit. By the time you are very careless, because your own resolve and your own effort also are involved. God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. So, Proverbs 6, 17 to 19, is anybody reading? 17 to 19, quickly. You see, when your eyes is proud, yes? 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 Can you see the use of your heart, of your mind, to cause um, chaos, to tell lies and everything? So holiness must be total, involving the use of all these things in sanctity. Psalm 1, 1 to 3, we have said that you don't walk in the seat of the ungodly, you don't start, you don't walk in there. Then Psalm 6, 18, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the law will not hear me. The heart must be free of sin. Psalm 131, 1 to 2, 6, 7. What drives sin and self, um, selfness? Six, seven. Who is reading it? Ecclesia. No, no, no. Ecclesia six, seven. We have, we, and that's the last page, Abby. Uh -huh. So we want to pray. Yes? Six, seven. Anybody? Ecclesia six, six, seven. I can't even remember what is there. Self. I hope we didn't misquote it. There is something that drives sin and selfness. So being being self. Okay, that's true. You have even forgotten. All the labor of his man, of man as for his mouth, yes? Yes. All that we are all looking for is money, food, everything. If your ambition is too much, you will sin. Having food and raiment, let us be there with you. What? Content. He said all the efforts of man is what you will eat. How much money? Most, some of us, if we have money for shelter, we have money for clothing. We have money for food. What we are looking for is money to oppress others. Am I right? Be very careful that your ambition will not. So we want to pray. Can we rise up? Let's wave our hands to the Lord and say, God, it's been good we are here. I want, I want to say some words first. Well, I will pray that one finally. You want to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Let me see you come here. Abikashi Lolani. Let me see you come here. You want, you know you are born again. Or, let me see your hands up. You are not yet born again. Anybody? Because I said that indirectly. Yes. Yes, come out. These faces, I didn't see them at the VG. Did I see you at the VG? You are there. Did I see you at the VG? Ah, sorry. You. Uh -huh. So, come out. Uh -huh. Look at, praise the Lord. Yeah, come out. Where, where? Come out. Where, where? Sir, since when have you been born again? Eh? I, have, I didn't record the date. Ah, if you, since when have you been born again? October 21, 2017. 2017, that's six years. So he has told God, he has told God since October 21, keep your Holy Spirit. I know how to do it. That's in the implication. Since when have you been born again? 
born again about 15 years ago, sir. You know, when I was born again, seven and a half years, and later I was, I had this experience. Everything changed. I love God more. I pray more. I pray longer hours. I do everything. Ministers, you will join me here, oh, eh? so that we can impart on them. Let our ministers come. Who can, um, uh, Abby, how many of let them come and join us. Those who can help me, help us in the administration of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Now, let me tell you something. It's a gift. Everybody says it's a gift. I don't have time. I will have gone through several scriptures. He's not just giving you the gift now. He has given you 2,000 years ago. He said when he ascended on night, he told them, stay, in Jeru stay here. Stay here in Jerusalem. Don't go anywhere until I pour the spirit. And in the, in the day of Pentecost, he poured that spirit. Now, if you are to, if you are to benefit of MTN or Hiate, eh, are you going to establish the company freshly? Are you going to, what, are you going to uh, go and start your own mast? What do you do? You connect. The Holy Spirit has been poured. You just buy SIM card. The same way, um, there is empty in Nigeria. All you, all you need is your, your SIM card, load your data. So what I'm doing today is you are loading your data. Everybody say, I'm loading my data. You, will just, you get it very well. Though. When I tell you, if you are an Igbo person, you speak language of Igbo. I tell you, don't speak Igbo, don't speak Yoruba. Take it like that. The Holy Ghost is not going to, is going to force you. Usually I've discovered that children like this, um, younger people, they, they, they get it easier because children, fo Abby, children follow instructions. The instruction is that once I lay hand on you and I ask you to pray, to ask and say, oh God, I believe your word. I will have showed you a lot of scripture, but time has gone. We don't have time tonight. When I tell you to begin to speak in tongues, you don't speak familiar language. Open your mouth and release it and say whatever. You discover that the Holy Spirit begins to supply the balance. All, all the Holy Spirit will do for you is to give you balance. Acts 2, 4. Only they began to speak in tongues. Who began? Who? The people. As the Holy Spirit give them utterance. All that the Holy Spirit is going to give you is, is utterance. Is utterance. A flow. That's what it's going to give you. you. But you are the one to keep, to shut. So begin to say, God, I thank you because you have released the Holy Spirit. Father, thank you. Those of you are there, I begin to speak in tongues. Begin to thank God. You have, you have sent the Holy Spirit. You have released it on the day of Pentecost. You are not a liar. You say, tarry you in, in, in Jerusalem until I endure you with power. I thank you, God. I thank you, God. Now say, God, I set forth my IRF, my server. I receive. Faith, you use faith to receive. Say, I receive by faith. Holy Ghost, I receive by faith. In the name of Jesus, I receive by faith. Empowerment of the Holy Ghost. In filling of the Holy Ghost. You that children, say, I receive. Say, I receive. Begin to speak in tongues. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. Not your language, not your language again. Begin to speak in tongues in the name of Jesus. Receive the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Receive the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Receive the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Receive. Mohuria Sadaba Hoshende. Don't speak any language you have been speaking before. Just voice out. Voice out. After, after a long time, you discover that you are not the one. It will look as if you are the one for me. If you, yes, that's good. I can see part of you. It will look oh, like you are the one for me, it you are not. Speak in tongues in the name of Jesus. Receive in the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Oh, Open your mouth and talk. Oh, Proto Sotoria. Open your mouth and talk. Wonderable Soto. Open your mouth. Open your mouth and talk. Bolia Cassanteria. Receive in the Holy Spirit. 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 Open your mouth. Never so to Rala Baba Sesterede. 
Open your mouth. Every demon that is tying any tongue, I command you to lose such tongues. Lose them. Be loose. Be loose. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Receive it, Holy Spirit. Open your mouth. Continue. Continue. It will look like you are the one forming it. But continue. Oh, it's by spirit. Oh, yeah, receive it, Holy Spirit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Quickly. In the name of Jesus. Oh, so, yeah, machete. Receive. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, basanta. No, 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 Continue to speak in tongues. The only spirit has been given unto you. Don't yourself. Don't hold yourself. Bosi ala bo shanteria. Ye boroko sotoria la beshete. Wodi abasantaria la. Sotori. Ye boroko sotoria. Ye boroko sotoria. I call serpentine spirit in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of time. Continue to, I'm not talking to you. Continue to speak in tongues. I call serpentine spirit. The root of this fellowship, of this church, receive deliverance. Every spirit of Leopard, every spirit of serpent, in the name of Jesus, I destroy them. Set them ablaze. Set them ablaze. Holy Ghost fire. Set them ablaze. Holy Ghost fire. Set them ablaze. Every that is in this song, you are uprooted. Every planting of the devil in this environment, in this church, in this geology, be uprooted in Jesus' name. Planting of air, planting of demons, planting of demons. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. receive your power in the name of Jesus. Robo Santeri Alabahosa. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, talk, 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 talk. Nondo robo sotoria, ye brodo sokrobo sotolo. Oh, ye bo shandere. Nondo robo sotu, ne brolo to sopre ne ye prene. Nondo robo sotolo, makakete. O brobo to sotu, ye ye besete, ye ye bo shondoro, ye ye bo soto. I destroy serpents here in Jesus' name. I had the little serpents here in Jesus' name. I burn you by fire in the name of Jesus, spirit of leopard, destroyer. You are born by fire. You are destroyed. You are destroyed. By the authority of the name of Jesus, you are cast out of this fellowship. You are cast out of this church. You are cast out of bread and beer. Everything that binds you is destroyed. In Jesus' name we pray. How many of you have been baptized with the Holy Ghost? We speak in tongues. Let me see your hands up. If you know you have been baptized, let me see your hands up. You are speaking in tongues. Yes, yes. That is good. Yes. 
Nembro Lotoso Nembro Nembro Lotoso Nembro Lotoso Nembro Lotoso Nembro Lotoso Yes, yes, speak in tongues, continue You are doing it, it's going, yes Nondo Robos Jesus. Wow. Talk, talk, talk. Wow. It is not whispering in tongue. It is speaking. Use your mouth. Use your mouth. Use your mouth. Fire. 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 Holy Ghost fire, 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 Holy Ghost fire. You are never separate. You are loose. Jesus, you are loose. Jesus, you are loose. Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Peace in the name of Jesus. Peace in the name of Jesus. I command every foul spirit. In the name of Jesus, get out of her. In the name of Jesus, no sotrodia. Holy in the name of Jesus, lose her, lose her. No predestinatory. Nebro no sotrodia. Somebody to borrow us, to borrow her, borrow us rapper, rapper or clothes or hair tie. No sotrodia. Yes, I like you. Yes, I like you. Yes, I like you. Speak in tongues. Continue. 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 La ho sante, nendere bohosa, rekosonto. You are delivered in the name of Jesus. You are delivered in the name of Jesus. Every foul spirit come out in the name of Jesus. Every foul spirit come out in the name of Jesus. Every torturing spirit come out. Leave this person. Leave this person. Dombo dombo boruba basante Release the people of God, let them go. Come out in the name of Jesus. Speak it down, continue. Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we are praying. Receive your miracle in Jesus' name. Receive your miracle in Jesus' name. Receive your miracle in Jesus' name. Receive your letter of appointment in Jesus' name. 
receive your visa in Jesus name be healed in your body I command that you be healed in your body irregular messes normalized in the name of Jesus broken hearts be healed in the name of Jesus broken marriages be healed in the name of Jesus broken body be healed in the name of Jesus root of cancer dry up in the name of Jesus every paralysis die in the name of Jesus hypertension die in the name of Jesus lying spirit get out in the name of Jesus serpentine spirit be burnt in the name of Jesus be loose from your infirmities in the name of Jesus be delivered from your infirmities in the name of Jesus let there be miracle in the name of Jesus let there be miracle in the name of Jesus in your head miracle in the name of Jesus your eye problem vanish in the name of Jesus high problem vanish in the name of Jesus stomachache vanish in the name of Jesus stomachache vanish in the name of Jesus indebtedness vanish in the name of Jesus receive financial miracle in the name of Jesus receive financial miracle in the name of Jesus receive financial miracle in the name of Jesus every aching business be healed in the name of Jesus every aching home be healed in the name of Jesus every broken home be healed in the name of Jesus any home that is broken or divorced I command restoration in the name of Jesus anybody that is plagued or tortured by serpentine leopard spirit you are delivered in Jesus name you are delivered in Jesus name you are delivered in Jesus name you are delivered 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 you are loose 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 in the name of Jesus those of you who have received the Holy Ghost open your eyes look at these scriptures that is the way you start it will look like you are stammering I saw a sister clearly doing that stammering it is like a small girl of 3-4 who starts speaking you must make sure that you don't give up you stop continuing it please 1 Corinthians 14 39b Holiness test. 1 Corinthians 14.39b on the screen. 1 Corinthians 14.39b. We have said holiness is obedience. Your obedience starts from this one. What did he say? That's B. What does forbid not? Translations, Yoku. Any translation that brings it clear. He said you should not forbid. You know why people make mistakes? When they start with stammering, when a three-year-old girl starts with stammering, as he continues to speak to his age six, age ten, the thing becomes well established. But where many people get it wrong is that when they start with stammering, they give it up, and eventually it becomes an experienced past because it will be coming more and more. The devil will be telling you now that um, you are the one forming it. No, no, by faith. You suspend your mouth from all languages you know and you say what comes to your mind and it is believed that there is the Holy Spirit. You will be very sure. You will be more and more convinced as weeks come by, months come by, year come by. So, I'm leaving you with this. How many people will get home among you who are speaking in tongues today for the first time and he will make sure that at least for 30 minutes tonight, he still repeats it. How many, how many of you want to assure me? Because I saw several of you, including madam. Eh? How many of you will still go and speak in tongues 30 minutes? Praise the Lord. Now, if you are sure you have received, come this way. If you are still doubting, let me see you to the left here. Am I understood? If you are sure you have received, move right. Move to the, move to the right there. Thank you very much. Yes, I had them. Some, some even had it come like this. Let me tell you one thing about it. There are two ways those things come. Some, it will come very violently and when they take it, they will speak it. Everybody will know. I saw a, one or more people, who, two or more people that get it that way. Some other people, they will be as gentle as they have always been gently. You know, the problem, the Holy Ghost doesn't force people. And when you are too orthodox and very gentle, we deal with you your own way too. Am I understood? It's the this, it's this process. He will be telling all of them that are filled now 
that they are the ones speaking the words. But that's how all of us began. And later on, they become well-registered language. That sometimes some people can know what he's saying. And the Lord will take you to the realm of interpretation and all the other nine gifts of the Spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, because we don't have time, you know what I'm going to do for you? The same process we did here together. The same process we did here together. Eh? When you get home tonight, tomorrow, Lord, sister, God, I have been baptized with the Holy Spirit because you have been baptized. All you need to do, all, all that is holding, all that is, remains is stretch your faith out and receive it. You know, stretch your server. Work on your server. Keep doing it. And I want all of you here to do one thing. If you have on your Android phone, go and type on your Android phone um, 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 speaking in tongues. Download all the messages. Is in Acts 2. Is in Acts 10 with Cornelius. Is in Acts 19. Is in uh, several places. This one is uh, 1 Corinthians 9, 39. Then, uh, is it not uh, Isaiah 28, Kini? 11. Go and download all those things and read because I was not able to teach fundamentally. 2 4 of Acts says they all spoke with tongue as the Spirit gave them utterance. You are the one to do the speaking. You are the one that did the survey. You are the one that confessed salvation and repented of your sin. So we are going home now. Everybody lay your hand on your heart. And those of you who have received speaking tongues, I want to hear you speaking tongues. And in the name of Jesus, for this last minute, you can go home in the name of Jesus and get your miracle confirmed. Receive in Jesus' name. Receive in Jesus' name. Be baptized in the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Receive in the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Masotoria. Nenderebo Hosanta. Nembrolo Soto. Reke Seteria. Yondorobo Sote. Baria. Everybody speak in tongues. Lo Soto Robo Sete. Nembroleto Sote. Nombroloto Sote. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for the gift of the Holy Ghost. Thank you for the gift of the Holy Ghost. Thank you for the gift of the Holy Ghost. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for divine visitation. Thank you for divine visitation. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you praise. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, we thank you for your visitation. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you, Lord, for emancipation. Thank you. Blessed be your name. Thank you because the serpentine spirit is defeated thank you because the spirit of the serpent is conquered it is conquered it is conquered blessed be your name thank you for divine visitation upon this ones thank you for divine visitation upon all of us we will not be the same again thank you for making us whole Spirit, soul, and body. Thank you for making us whole. Thank you for the spirit of holiness that is come upon us. Thank you for the spirit of holiness that is come upon us. Thank you because we will never again break the hedge. Thank you. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. To you be all the glory, Lord. To you be all the honor, Lord. In Jesus mighty name we pray amen. amen god bless you please you may go back to your seat now i like to just mention briefly that all of us will learn our language the language that you speak now the language of your what you call the mother tongue how do you learn it did anybody sit you down and begin to teach you Yoruba or Benue language. Did your parents sat you down to do that? 
No. How did you learn it? By hearing people. And this is why we will continue to do the practice of speaking in tongues in the church much more now. And also in your home, do the practice of speaking in tongues. All of you that have received today, make sure you do the practice. Every language is learned by hearing it. And when you hear it, you too speak it. Amen. Praise the Lord. So please, even all of us that, that are not yet, you know, flowing in it to speak it out. Just, in, you know, interact with people that are speaking in tongues. Interact with people that are speaking in tongues. And in our home, let's do it. In church, we will do it. Amen. The spirit of holiness will come upon us. We will never be the same again. Our time has been well spent. We're just going to bless the Lord with our seed now. And I really would like for you to bless the Lord with a good offering today. Amen. I want to thank the Lord for our signal today. The brethren in Ogiju said that their sand is good. So Ogiju Church, God bless you. Hallelujah. They, they confess that their sand is good. It wasn't good initially, but eventually they admitted that it's good. So God bless Ogiju Church in Jesus' name. You will be part of it again tomorrow morning, and you will be blessed. I know you have also been blessed. Please, I trust Pastor Daniel, he will share testimonies with me. Amen. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to bless the kingdom, to sow our seed. Father, in Jesus' name, this seed, it leaves us now, but we know it will return in great harvest. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. have done for us oh lord we are very very grateful and we are saying thank you jesus thank you mighty name we pray. Amen. Please have your seat. We'll be going in a jiffy. Praise the Lord. God's servant has grace upon his life and let's tap into it. Amen. There are books behind us there. Please take advantage of all of them. Be relevant. This is very popular. Be relevant. Even bacteria are 
even bacteria are. Next is man and warfare. Learning God's dialect. These are the big ones. They go for 1,500. And then priesthood is responsibility. Five benefits of trials. Riding on trials. Garment of praise. One garment of praise. Two. These ones are 1,000 naira each. Please take advantage of this ministry. You, they surely will bless you. There are also magazines there that goes for 500 naira. Please, let's take advantage of it. Tomorrow, this uh, weekend of breakthrough comes to a close tomorrow. Amen? Praise the Lord. And the Bible says, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. Hmm? Amen? The Bible says on that last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus said, if anyone tests, let him come. Something great will happen tomorrow morning. Don't miss it. Amen. It will start by 8.30. Hallelujah. Church starts by 8.30. Church starts by 8.30. So if you come and you are thinking, oh, it's uh, Lucas hour that is starting by 8.30. No, it's a full service that is starting at 8.30. Choir, church starts by 8.30 tomorrow. We'll be here before, by, before 8 to pray and trust God and believe God and receive his presence from about 8. But by 8.30, we'll, go, we'll sign on full blast. Praise the Lord. And it's going to be a wonderful time in God's presence in Jesus' name. Please, tomorrow, I, if you have been blessed by this servant of God, prepare some gifts for him and bless him. Amen. We will, we will take a special offering for that purpose. Praise the Lord. And tomorrow we will pray and dedicate the newest book. Praise the Lord. They are all here. They brought them for us to, as a church, to send forth the books. These books have gone, they have gone to places all over the world. People are, you know, being blessed by it. And this will not be an exception. In fact, this one will have a greater mileage because we'll pray for it here in Jesus' name. It's going to be a wonderful time tomorrow. Please put calls to some people, put calls to them, you know. It's not to remind them, you just put calls to them. They know. Amen. Shall we rise on our feet? Father, we thank you for what you have done for us. Thank you for this visitation. Glory be to your name. Glory be to your name. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We will not be the same again. In Jesus' name. Let's share the grace together in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Good evening. See you in the morning. <laughs>